Tina here. It's crane pose time, bakasana. You might also hear this pose referred to as crow pose. What is it? It's an arm balance. Bearing weight on your hands, feet float off of the mat. Now I think a great way to practice crane pose is to have some props around because your face does come really close to the floor and that can be very intimidating, especially in a yoga class. So I'll show you if you don't have a yoga block, you can use a pillow, one, maybe two, right out near the top of your mat. So if you've got the block, use a block, but I imagine some of you at home might not have a block. So whatever you're using, place it at the top of the mat and your hands, nice spread fingers, go right behind the prop. Find your tabletop and then you're going to step your left foot as close behind the wrist and the side of the mat and then the right foot behind that right wrist. So you're in this really tall kind of squat position and you have two options. The harder variation is to bend the knees and rest them right on the backs of the arms. And a little easier is to get lower and squeeze against the arms. So from a different viewpoint, the knees are basically hiding behind the arms or they're squeezing against the arms. So if you're a beginner, the squeezing against the arms is likely going to be more accessible for you. So to practice getting into your Bakasana crane pose, I'll show you the squeezing of the arms. While you do need a lot of core strength, oftentimes it's the floor that's the scariest part because you're afraid you're going to face plant, which is a possibility and I hope that does not happen today. So squeeze the arms, lean out, and then place the forehead right on your prop. And then you can play around with picking one foot up and dropping it down, and then the other foot up and dropping it down. Maybe you get brave and both pick up. So now you at least feel like, oh, all right, I can do this, my feet are floating. Lower that back down and then lift yourself off of your prop. Now pillows are gonna be squishy and you're gonna go quite low. So if you do have a firmer pillow or a block, it might be a little bit easier. So I'm gonna show you with just one pillow how you can then work yourself away from the prop. So this pillow is actually quite flat. So my head is actually gonna be quite close to the floor. Get your knees, lock them in, lean out, Try to find whatever you're using, drop down, float the legs, and then try to pick up the head and drop the feet back down. So you're kind of playing this little bit of seesaw so you can see how it feels like to go between one and the other. And then at one point, you're going to try and not land either of the ends down. So say you get into it with the hand gra head grounded, you then try to lift the head up while staying floating. And then voila, your hair's all messed up and you're ready to start the day. I hope you give this some time, practice some flight. It's a very empowering pose, but definitely having a prop out in front of you takes away the scariness of falling completely on your face. Let me know you like this video by giving me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.